Hi. This presentation will focus on a new video analysis tool by Agent VI called VI Search. VI Search transforms recorded video images into searchable data and enables a variety of forensics and business intelligence applications. VI Search consists of three main components video indexing, a search engine, and a client application. Video indexing occurs in real time. A software component inside the camera analyzes the video feed as it is being captured. The results of this analysis are sent back to the VI Search server, which further analyzes them, turns them into a video index, and stores that index into a SQL Server database. At the same time and in parallel, a video management system pulls a video stream from the camera and records it. At any later time, when a user wishes to perform some uh, forensic analysis, he uses the VI Search client to uh, define a query and send it to the VI Search server. The VI Search server then goes into the database, pulls out the relevant video index, analyzes it, and returns the query result to the client. Based on the query results, the client can then communicate with the video management system and request relevant video recordings in order to display them to the user. Let's take a look at the VI Search GUI. Up here, the gray area is where you define the query and its parameters, and in the blue area, you view the results and analyze them. Defining a query is very simple and straightforward. First of all, you need to select the cameras on which you want to search. So you can simply say search all cameras, or you can click on select, get a list of cameras, and then select any group of cameras that you want. So we'll select these two cameras, Next, we need to define the time window that we're searching on. So we can either search from the current instant going back in time by minutes, hours, or days, or if we know a more defined time period in which the event occurred, then we can go here and actually define an exact time and date range that we want to scan. Next, we select the type of object we're looking for. We can look for people, vehicles, and objects. And for each type of object, we can search also by behavior. So for people, we can search for anybody moving in the scene, people crossing a line, for example, going in and out of doorways. We can search by occupancy, which allows us to define a numeric threshold and only find events where more than a certain number of people are standing in a group. And we can search for crowding. Let's select moving. Now, all we need to do is click on search. And what happened now is our query was compiled, sent to the search server. The search server went into the database, retrieved the relevant data, analyzed it, and generated these nine events. The GUI then received these events from the server, contacted the video management system, and requested snapshots based on the timestamps for each event. What we can do now is scan these snapshots and see if anything is interesting. And for example, if we think this event might be relevant, all we need to do is double click on it and we will immediately retrieve the relevant recording for this event. The object that triggered the event will be clearly marked, while all other moving objects in the scene will not be marked since they are not relevant to this specific event. In this way, we can scan through all the events generated by this query and find the ones that may be relevant to what we're looking for. When we find an event that is relevant, we can store it for later reference or we can export it as an AVI file. Let's take a look at some other interesting ways of viewing query results. We'll use some predefined queries that we have here. This query searches for people moving inside the field of view of this camera. As we can see, the query returned 11 results, and we can actually manually scan all of these results, look at the video for each result, and find what we're looking for. But there is a much quicker way for us to analyze these results. For this, we can use something called the target path view. 
by clicking on target path what we're actually doing here is we're taking the full path of each and every object that we found and because we're tracking the object throughout its lifetime inside our field of view we can actually draw all these paths on a sample reference image from this camera this allows me to instantaneously view anything that is out of the ordinary so as we can see most people here are walking on the sidewalk either on this side or on that side but we do have a couple of people here crossing the street so in order to f further investigate this all I need to do is highlight this specific path double click on it and this will take me directly to the video recording of that person crossing the street this is an invaluable tool for viewing a large number of events and picking out things that are out of the ordinary let's look at another example of this feature this time using a query looking for vehicles moving inside this traffic circle looking at this we can see that most of the cars are traveling in correct patterns but if we view this carefully we can actually pick out this path over here which is making an illegal u-turn double clicking on it will bring up the recording we see that we are enabling the user to instantaneously find things that are out of the ordinary that would have been impossible for him to catch if he were just viewing hours and hours of video recording of vehicles passing through this traffic circle sometimes we may find it necessary to view the video recording for each and every event returned by the query for this we have created the video summary view which actually takes these 11 events and generates a summary of all the video recording for all these events so we can see that down here we have created a clip that is late less than eight minutes long for events that happened over the span of a few days and each and every event is represented here clearly marking the object that created that event and we can either view the entire video clip or we can use the next button to switch from one event to another this again is a very valuable tool for allowing us to uh, review lots of video very quickly only looking at the information that may be relevant to our cause let's examine the use of color as an additional filter that will help us narrow down the amount of information that we need to process here we have defined a, a query for a vehicle that is moving inside the field of view of this camera we can see that this query returns 68 results we can actually scan all the thumbnails for all the different events and try to find the vehicle that's the one that we're looking for but if we have some additional information regarding that vehicle for example its color we can actually input this information into the query and use that in order to filter down the amount of data that we have to process so we'll fill in a yellow color filter and we'll apply the search again we can see that the 68 events were narrowed down to just two events containing vehicles that have some yellow color content in them so using color as a filter can be an invaluable tool to save us time and lower the amount of information that we actually need to look at finally let's have a look at using VI search in order to generate some business intelligence statistics we'll select a predefined query that we have here this query looks for vehicles crossing a line if we look at the five cameras that we have defined for this query we can see that for each one we have defined a line on the road with a specific direction this query will return each and every vehicle that has crossed each line on each camera in the specified direction let's apply the query we can see that we have 75 results in this case we're not really interested in the images of the vehicles themselves but we want to have an account an accurate account of the number of vehicles that pass through all the cameras together and through each camera 
So by clicking on statistics report, we're going to get a bar graph that shows us the aggregated vehicle counts uh, in 10 minute increments. We can also switch and look at a camera by camera count and get the exact number of vehicles that pass through the, the field of view of every camera. The nice thing about VI Search is that it allows you to generate statistics for any type of event. So you can be counting yellow vehicles crossing a line, or you can be counting bags that are being dropped or left behind. Anything that you can search for, you can actually generate statistics and display them. We also allow you to export the statistical data either to an Excel spreadsheet or to a PDF report. Thank you for taking the time to learn about VI Search.